Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to pass user testing tests. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So we all know that when you create your account in user testing, there's going to be a few things that you need to do first before you have your account uh, verified by user testing. So that includes these four tasks here. So I use the confirmation of your email, set up your PayPal payments, creating your profile, as well as taking the practice test. Now you might be wondering, how do you pass the actual user testing test? Well, the great thing about their account here or their platform is they allow you to take a practice test first. Now, taking the practice test is actually pretty easy. So at the very bottom, go ahead and click on the take practice test button here, and that should redirect you to another page. Now from here, it's going to give you a short video on how to record or give you recording tips here. So in this case, uh, it also reminds you for each task, read the questions out loud and speak your thoughts clearly. So meaning whenever you're reading something on your screen, make sure to speak out loud. So make sure you're speaking your mind. So whenever you're thinking, make sure that you're speaking so that they'll know that you're there. Now also take your time. So don't rush through the task. Make sure to go, go through all the information make sure to read all the instructions just to make sure that you got you got that instructions or those details correct now there are no wrong answers just give your honest opinion now in this case there's no honest opinion there's no uh, honestly there's no wrong answers here they will be asking your opinion but the more you give your thoughts on uh the test the more likely that you'll get accepted on the program itself in this case let's go and click on next now it's going to say a quick setup here to enable your browser to record. You need to share access to your entire screen and microphone. So you will stop sharing once you finish giving the feedback. Now in this case, you'll be sharing your microphone and screen here. So in this case, if you want to watch the, their setup uh, option here, you can go ahead and do that. So at the top left here, you can go and click on this one. And from here, you should be able to uh, go to site settings here. And from here, what you need to do is you need to look for your microphone here and make sure that you actually allow it. In this case, let's go ahead and go back into our screen here. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on share access. And from here, we want to actually select our window. So in this case, I would suggest you to go to window here and click on the uh, actual tab that you have your my, your Chrome or your browsers open up. So in this case, I go, let's go ahead and click on share. And from here, it's going to say, if you don't allow user testing, share your entire screen, you can take tests. So make sure to share your entire screen. Now in this case, once you've done that, let's go ahead and click on share access. So in this case, uh, let's go ahead and select it. Go to entire screen and click on screen one where you have your current test opened and click on share. Now as you can see, you have now your screen shared in here. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now from here, as you can see at the bottom, it's going to say it's recording. So users I think start it start has started recording. And also you need to choose your microphone. So make sure you choose the correct microphone here. So since I'm using the USB condenser microphone, I'm going to choose that. As you can see, I'm now being heard. So you could just say I'm ready to think out loud. In this case is going to click on next. Now from here, it's going to give you some information like you need two browsers tab to take a test. One is for the instructions and the other is for the experience you give feedback on. So check on, out the animation that you see on your screen or how to switch between tabs. In this case, let's go and click on next. Now from here, it's going to say all set before you start. So speak your thoughts again. Make sure to speak what you are thinking and find a quiet place to take your tests and also minimize any applications or browser tabs that you want to keep private. So if you have your social media open here, make sure to exit that and make sure that the, the uh, website for user testing is the only one that is open right now. In this case, let's go and click on start recording. Now from here, once it's actually started recording, you should be able to see the next instruction here, which in this case, uh, this is for just practice tests. You will uh, you'll search for articles on the user testing contributor support center website. So you will provide feedback on the experience. Now they also want to see how well you speak your thoughts and feelings out loud and how will you follow the test instructions. Now in this case, you could just go ahead and click on open test page here. Now, it should open up the support at usertesting.com webpage here, and everything that you'll need later on will be in here. Let's go ahead and go back. Now, from here, let's go ahead and click on next. 
Now from here, it's going to give you task one, which includes on the contributor code of conduct page, review out loud the important points to keep in mind. Now also name one important point that you remember from the article and tell us why it stood out to you. Now in this case, what you need to do is go back into the contributor code of conduct and from here, we should be able to see some details. So in this case, you need to review all of the important points to keep in mind. So again, let's go ahead and go back into the support page here. Go to contribute code of conduct. And from here, there are going to be some details that you could basically read in here. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and just start reading through the article it's uh, and itself. And from here, you should be able to start answering the actual question that you see here. Now, in this case, the main, point, main points that you see in this section here are going to be your account information, safety and respect, and as well as testing. Now, for your account information, you also have to make sure that you're at least 18 years old and uh, you know, when you're actually uh, creating one user testing account. So you are only allowed to have one user testing account. And make sure that you are actually 18 years old and you are not allowed or uh, you're not allowed anyone else to use or share your user testing account so meaning do not give access uh, to other people to your account here and also provide accurate and up-to-date information on your profile so make sure that whenever whatever information that you have on your profile is up to date so also make sure that the location listed on your profile is where you live most of the time now in this case you only uh, you will use one PayPal account here that belongs to you and not someone else. Also, refrain from taking tests while traveling outside of the country listed in your profile. Also, there are going to be see, uh, some details about safety and respect here and about testing here. So in this case, you could go ahead and uh, basically describe what you've learned from this article here that includes uh, safety and respect and testing. Again, it's really important that you describe what you read here and what you were able to find. In this case, make sure to answer the question that was asked about you. So name one important point that you remember from the article and tell us why it stood out to you. So for me, what stood out to me here is the testing here. Also, uh, whenever you're taking a test here, make sure that you provide honest responses to screeners. Also, that you uh, actually take your time reading because we don't want to actually uh, give wrong information. And also, we want to make sure that we are giving the highest quality or value that we get whenever uh, we are availing our services. In this case, once you've answered that, you can go ahead and click on next button. Now, for test two, you need to go to the protecting privacy while testing. In this case, you can just go ahead and scroll at the very top here. And from here, what you need to do is you need to look for the specific section here. This is protecting your privacy while testing. Now, in this case, you could basically choose the protecting your privacy while testing link here, or you could just click on the back button here and just click on protecting your privacy while testing. Now, in this case, there are going to be some information that you could read through here. So obviously, this might take a few minutes for you to read out. But in this case, there are going to be, again, some questions. So what's the information clear? Explain why or why not. So in this case, uh, for me, I've actually read some articles regarding protecting your privacy while testing. So according to this article, so that some include uh, some information like your uh, sensitive information or like, for example, your medical information, history, any uh, your ethnic origin or background, political opinions, and religious or philosophical beliefs as well. Now, in this case, there are going to be some information that you can read through here that I am required to take the complete test that asks for my personal information. So in this case, uh, no. So you can accept, decline, or quit any test based on your comfort level. So depending on the test, you could actually skip uh, some of the tests they have uh, whenever they are, are actually accept uh, asking for some uh, personal information you could opt from those tests. Now, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and answer the question here. Was the information clear? Explain why or why not. So personally, the information that you see here or what I read here is actually quite clear. So never share any personal information regarding yourself or any of the uh, uh, information that you'll be reading on the test that you have or you, you'll be doing. In this case, you could go ahead and click on next. Once you've answered that, again, your microphone is being recorded. So make sure to answer any of the questions and think out loud. 
In this case, for task 3, it's going to say, according to the article just found, which of the following information is never safe to share. Now, in this case, you should be able to go back into the article itself and look for the answer itself. So in this case, let's go look for it. Now, comparing the answers that is available here with the article itself, it looks like the answer itself is going to be personal financial account numbers. And whenever you look at this page here, as you can see, we have financial account number. In this case, let's go and click on next. Now it's going to uh, give you additional tasks here. So in this case, open the uh, search Google Maps from the closest coffee shop near you. And once you find the closest coffee shop, say the name out loud and tell us what made it easy for you to hard find what you're looking for. In this case, let's go ahead and go to Google here. Now, once in Google, what we need to do is we need to go to Google Maps. It's up right off your screen. You could go ahead and just click on the top right here and just click on Maps. Now, once in Google Maps, you could just go to search Google Maps here and just type in nearest coffee shop. Now, from here, press enter. Now, once you've done that, there's going to be a bunch of coffee shops that you will be able to see here. So, in this case, let's go and click on the nearest one. In this case, once you've done that, as you can see, it is now located in here. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to answer the question again. So, in this case, let's go ahead and go back here. So, in this case, we want to answer that the shop itself is going to be Zara Fuzz Coffee Red Bank Pints. Now, in this case, the option or the way for us to search for this coffee uh, coffee shop is actually pretty easy since Google, uh, Google or Google Maps is actually a straightforward application. You just need to type in this coffee shop here, and it's actually pretty easy. In this case, once you've answered that, just click on Next. Now, in this case, any final thoughts? So regarding this test here, so in this case, just give your honest opinion regarding the uh, test that you've just done. And personally, the test is actually pretty easy. You just need to speak your mind and make sure that you're saying your opinion regarding the test and answer all the questions here and read it through all the instructions, which is actually something pretty easy. In this case, let's go ahead and click on finish. Now, in this case, it's going to start uploading the test itself. In this case, you can just click on return to checklist and you are now done. Now, in this case, as you can see, take practice test here, practice is, uh, is in review. So we'll let that, you know once, the, uh, once it's actually reviewed. So in this case, you just need to wait for them to actually review your test. Now, it's actually pretty easy. You just need to make sure to speak up your mind regarding this test. So make sure that you're speaking through all the information that you see there and uh, read all the instructions. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.